Hey guys, it's Randy Cook here at Drumeo, and I get asked this question all the time throughout the years. How do you do as many gigs uh, as you do if you can't rehearse all the time? Do you memorize everything that you, that you play? And the answer is no. Thank goodness I can, I can write cheat notes. I can write little charts um, to get me through the songs as accurately as possible to recreate what I'm hearing and to play the song as, as, as close as possible to the, the drums that I'm hearing. Um, what that does is it alleviates you from having to memorize every single song every time you play somewhere. Because, you know, there will be times where somebody will say, hey, we don't have time to rehearse. Can you actually just show up to the gig and learn 20 songs? And the gig's tomorrow. Now, imagine trying to memorize 20 songs for tomorrow. Very difficult. Some can do it, but most cannot. So here is a survival method of writing a chart where it's clean, you're not using staff paper that makes it look busier or messy, and it's shorthand, it's drummer's shorthand. Um, write the least amount of stuff that you need to get on the paper to still make you play the right thing. So I'm gonna explain, we're gonna play a track from a band called All Good Things that I've recorded a, a, a bunch of uh, songs with and, and two or three CDs with, and I'm gonna actually play uh, the track and stop it and start it and show you how quickly you can make a cheat note and how accurately and thoroughly you can recreate what you hear without writing tons of notes and tons of notation on the piece of paper. Okay, so I'm gonna do this on the fly. I'm gonna listen to the music, start it and stop it and write out the notes. If you can't see this very clearly, you can download the PDF in the description below and, uh, and read along with it. Um, so here we go, it's gonna be fun. I'll show you what I do. So we're gonna listen to the first couple of bars. Well, there you go. There's no drums there. There's a loop, a drum loop, so you're not supposed to play for two bars, so we're just gonna go rest. Two bars, there we go. So don't play anything. Now, as soon as the drums come in, There's the first drum beat. Dun, da, dun, mm, mm. Now, I'm using a marker. Now, what didn't I write? You can't see this. I didn't write any hi-hats, any ride cymbal, any crash cymbal. I didn't write anything. I just wrote the kicks and the snares. Well, I'm just gonna put in, in the corner here, HH eighths. So, there's my little note, H8, eighth notes. Because why, why do you need to write eight notes? You just know to play eight notes. Most, most pop rock, rock music, pop music, funk music, it's all four four, it's all eighth notes on the, on the hi-hat or eighth notes on the ride or eighth notes on the floor tom, so just write eighth notes. So there's the first bar. So as you can see, I'm already telling you a secret. Hi-hat eighth notes. If it changes to ride, just write ride. Eighths. If it changes to crash and it crashes quarters, crash quarters. That's all you need. You don't need to actually write every quarter note out. Okay, so we're gonna go on. Okay, at the end of that second bar, there was a little variation in the kick pattern. It went doom, da, doom, do, 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 ga. There was three kicks. I'm gonna ignore those. I'm gonna just say one plus fill. Now, because the guitars are playing with that fill, right above, I might just put 416 notes right up here. Maybe some accents right above them. And here's another thing you'll notice. I don't always actually write the notes because why do you need to write the little note part? You can tell that it's a grouping of four sixteenth notes. I can tell if I can write the little little dangly notes there, but really, I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to write these little things. If I just see uh, a grouping like this, you know that that's four sixteenth notes. You don't need to, me to write the big ball things on the end, right? Right, okay, fine, so, so here we go, moving on.
There's our drum fill. There's the first bar. Now you can tell the guy's gone to crash right so. Oh, by the way, that guy was me. Uh, I'm just gonna write crash. And let's listen to the drum beat in the first bar. Doom, doom, da, doom, da, doom, ba. Notice that I'm just writing groupings. Listening again. Oh, one more snare drum at the end of that fourth beat, so I've written it in. Okay, so there you have it. Here is the first bar. Doom, doom, da, doom, da, doom, da, da. Okay, so let's listen on. Now you just heard four bars. There were a couple of different things on the snare right near the end. Skip over it. You've got the core drum beat. Doom, doom, da, doom, da, doom, da, da, doom, doom, da. You can vary it a little bit. Maybe you might miss a snare here and there, but you've got the gist, you've got the energy and the essence of this section. So I'm just gonna put four underneath it and fill. Now here we are in the verse, so I'm gonna put a V. I'm gonna write hi-hats again. You know, once you get used to this method, you wouldn't even write hi-hats because you know in every verse it's normally gonna to go to the hi-hats, so you may not even write HH eighths. That's what I wrote there. Um, let's listen to the pattern of the verse. There it is, doom, da, doom. Doom, da. So there's our verse bar. And it's going to repeat. So let's just count along. Now there's something special at the end of that fourth bar. So I'm just going to write three under there, and we're going to write out that fourth bar. Let's listen to the fourth bar. Almost. And there we go. There's that fourth bar. Now, notice, instead of writing actual 16th note rests in between these two 16th notes, I just literally, I have a marker so it's a little thicker, I just put dots. And sometimes if I'm using a pencil or a pen, I literally now just do dots. So let's pretend you've got four 16th notes. Here, it, here is the actual right way, and here's what I do. Let's pretend you have a grouping. Okay, so here's what it's supposed to look like, right? There is your, your figure with two 16th note rests in the middle. All I do is this. You see it? Looks like a two eyeballs. So you can see this means sixteenths. Here are my two notes, and the two dots means arrest and arrest. Now, when you get fast and you start writing like that, there's less on the paper, and you can get through it. Okay, moving on. And the first bar of that next verse, I want to write that out too because it's a little different, which is one and two. Three, uh, uh, rest, um, ba, boom, boom, ba, listen to it again. There you go, there's that bar. Let's listen on. I think it goes back to the regular verse pattern.
Okay, so again, it goes back to the regular verse pattern. And even though you heard that fill at the end of the four bars, this is your time to shine. Play the fill that, that you like, that still fits in the, in the vibe, and you know, in the 16th vibe of it. You don't need to write the fill out. That's never important, I promise you. So all I've done is written three and fill. So three, play this bar three times and fill. Now we're at the pre-chorus already. This is amazing. We see this all the time in bridges and in pre-choruses. Floor tom ride. So am I gonna write out every floor tom hit? Of course not. I'm just gonna write FL TM ride. I'm not even gonna put eighth notes because the whole tune so far has been eighth notes. Whether it's crash or hi-hats, floor tom ride, there it is. And the, the kick and snare pattern is just doom, doom, da, doom, doom, da. It's that simple. Of course, while you're playing doom, doom, da, doom, doom, da, you wanna put some extra stuff in there. So sometimes in brackets, I just write the word loopy, like loop, like extra to put doom, ba, to put doom, ba, doom, ba. If I don't write the word loopy and I just write straight, I'm gonna be really simple about it. Okay, so anyways, here we are. Almost at the chorus. Nothing's gonna change if you Four bars and fill. So I wrote four and fill. No need to script out the exact fill. You know, if you're filming a video for this, of course you wanna have this. But anyways, we're almost done. We're at the chorus. I heard that it's crash, right? So I just put crash. Okay, so you can hear the main beat changes changes only a little bit, but the main beat is just That is the main essence of that beat. You can add a snare or here and there, you can add a kick drum here and there, but I'm not gonna write any of that out because you're just gonna naturally play a couple of little different things, but keeping the main bop, you can go or you get it, right? So it's super simple. So here's the chorus. Let's just listen out. Now you hear these shots, so I'm gonna write shots. Boom, one, and then the two E, rest and rest. Now, these shots, I'm just gonna put snare drum slash kick slash floor tom. So now, you can see, I just have the figure here, boom, one E and a two E, three, four. One E and a two E, three. Four. Let's see how many bars that happens for. And it has a little snare, snare fill, just right, and snare fill. You can make your own. And we're already at the second verse. Of course, when you're, when you're writing this with a pencil or pen, you can do it much, much smaller, but this is the idea. I'm gonna play along now. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. I think I can just play along with this. And uh, 
You'll get the idea. You know, if I'd never heard this song before, ever, and I came in and I played this, the way I've written it, um, you'd be fine. You would be absolutely great. Hopefully you're playing to a click so you got the right tempo. But you be at the hi-hats when it says hi-hats. You go to the crash when it says crash. You go to the floor tom when it says floor tom. You're going to be good to go. So here we go. This is a method, this is a shorthand that works for me. You know, I've seen other guys write, uh, you know, different words for, for a loopy. They write funky or they write, you know, more grace notes. You pick what works for you, but just pick up this, the, the, the idea that you don't need to write everything. Just write the main stuff and the bar numbers and when to play a fill or when not to play a fill and you're gonna be good to go. I'm gonna play along with this now from the beginning right to the sort of the second uh, verse. Um, you can download the PDF and play along and read along and, uh, and I'll see you back at Drum Mule where there's so much more stuff to be, be uh, heard and listened to and learned and played along with. It's gonna be so good. I'll see you guys soon.